My name is Ben Saunders, and I'm the coordinator for the Specialty Center at Hanover High School. And as a part of our Specialty Center, there are two distinct options. We offer elective courses in both STEM and public safety, and we also house the Health Science Specialty Center. We will begin with the Specialty Center STEM and Public Safety elective courses. The reason that I picked this class was because that after taking CRIM 1 and 2, you'll be able to get that like credit that will look good for colleges and stuff like that if you're going to the criminal justice field, and it's going to give me a really big jump start into going into my law degree. I chose this program because I had some friends in robotics who were juniors when I was a freshman and they were in third year of electronics. They loved the class, they convinced me to take it. And then I found out that engineering was also the program I could do, so I decided to work through my schedule to get both done. Students that are interested in taking these will remain at their zone school for their other classes and simply travel to Hanover High for those elective courses. Each of these courses, there are opportunities for the students to earn um, industry credentials, there are fees that are associated with the majority of these courses, but they do vary depending on which, which course is selected. In order for a student to take one of these courses, all they need to do is communicate with their school counselor when they're meeting with them about uh, their course request for the following school year. Some of these courses do have some prerequisites. Um, those can be found in the program of studies. I chose the criminal justice program because of a general curiosity of the type of content that would be discussed in it. Um, and I just, I love the class. I love getting to know more about, you know, laws and how things are carried out, how the police conduct themselves and stuff like that. It's just a really interesting topic to me. Students have the option to choose courses from electronics. We offer engineering. And we also offer a design, multimedia, and web technologies course. And then on the public safety side, students can choose from criminal justice or firefighting. Now, most of these courses do um, offer two or three year sequences. I absolutely love teaching the public safety course because it's my way of giving back. After serving seven years in the military and uh, six and a half years in law enforcement, uh, it's my way to just bring back uh, an opportunity for students to learn more about what really goes on in the field, uh, what the jobs require, what they actually really take uh, to be in these positions, and explore many opportunities that are available to them uh, within the criminal justice field. Why do I love teaching STEM, specifically engineering? Um, I can honestly say that my job is different every single day. I get to facilitate students finding their own solutions to unique problems. Um, it is a truly rewarding experience I can do have a hundred times a year. Um, I can honestly say I would rather be doing nothing else. As you can see under the STEM electives, electronics, there are three years that are available for students to take. Um, by all means, you don't have to take all three, but there are three available. Engineering, there's a year one and a year two. Our design, multimedia, and web technologies course is a one-year course. And then on, again, on the public safety side, criminal justice, there are two years that students are able to take, and our firefighting course is a one-year program. At a very young age, I was always uh, interested in technology, breaking things apart, um, you know, finding how things work. And uh, it's awesome when I see young people coming through my class and building things from scratch, that is, for example, circuit boards, and how they feel so accomplished when they've actually created something from scratch and they understand how it works. So our electronics course offerings, again, there's a year one, two, and three, are open to students in any grade in high school, nine through 12. These courses also carry with them a weighted credit in terms of a student's GPA. And the only prerequisite before a student takes electronics one is they need to have successfully completed algebra one as a, as a math course. I plan on being an engineer and I take these two classes at the specialty center. And I've learned things that I'll use in college and after college. It's very useful. They are focused on project-based learning and hands-on learning. So the students will learn about these things but then they will also be um, participating in using those items on various projects. For our engineering courses, again, we have a year one and year two, and this one also carries with it a weighted credit and is available for students in 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. So sophomores through seniors can sign up to take engineering. The prerequisites here, algebra one, and then in ninth grade, students would need to take a technical drawing course 
at their home school, one of the electives that's provided there. So again, engineering one, you're going to get some of the introductory um, you know, engineering concepts and history and theory. Um, engineering two is going to turn more into group projects, um, team presentations, et cetera. And some of the items that these uh, individuals will be working on are um, various projects, a uh, little suspension bridge that picture there on the, on the top right is uh, a device that was used to test the weight of those items. And um, they're gonna learn the 3D printers, which is the other image that is on the screen there. And we also do a lot of hands-on. It's not too much paperwork and like theory and stuff. It's not like a general class. It's like real hands-on with teachers who generally come from the workforce and are teaching things that they learn. The students are able to take our design, multimedia, and web technologies course in any grade in high school. So students, freshmen through seniors, can sign up to take this one. It is also a weighted credit course that uh, has no prerequisites coming in. Students in this course are going to be able to produce multimedia presentations. They're going to work on real world projects. They're going to use various um, computer software techniques to come up with various you know, layouts and designs on these, these projects. For example, um, the two images there with the, with the boots that are on the screen, students are going to learn um, you know, shading techniques, um, shadowing, you know, blending, those types of things to uh, create these finished products. I originally took this class because uh, I heard about it from a friend. I thought it would be a good idea. And it actually ended up changing my post high school graduate thoughts and things like majoring in criminal justice after getting into the program and seeing what it's all about. Uh, I really like the class. It's a lot of fun. Criminal justice. Again, there's a year one and a year two and students have to be in the 11th grade before they can begin to take one of these courses. So it's open to juniors and seniors. And criminal justice, I know the first thing that comes to mind is you know, a, a police officer, you know, law enforcement. So absolutely, you know, there are elements of that that are gonna be taught in this course, and, but it goes, it goes deeper than that. And there are students that take this that definitely want a career in law enforcement. There are students that take this course that want to be an attorney or, um, you know, in the law side of things, um, you're going to learn about various policing techniques, but also you're going to learn the ethics of policing. You're going to learn crime scene investigation, which is a big draw for a lot of students. You're going to look at um, you know, forensic science, you know, security. This course also does a great job of bringing in outside resources. There's going to be numerous guest speakers. There will be you know, field trip opportunities to um, you know, learn about a lot of these techniques and a lot of these topics from the individuals that are working. I chose the Hanover Firefighting Program because my family has a long history in the fire program in Hanover, and I just want to keep on the tradition. Our firefighting course. Now, students have to be in the 11th or 12th grade in order to sign up for this course. A student must be 16 years old on the first day of school, their junior year, in order to take this class. There are only 20 seats available per year for individuals from our four high schools to be able to participate. And this class is exactly as advertised. The name of this course, Firefighting, is exactly what the students are learning how to do. So students that take this course are going to learn how to safely and effectively extinguish fires. They are going to be the individuals that are doing these things. If you look at these pictures here, those are students. Again, um, they're going to learn about, you know, hazmat, hazardous materials, and they're going to learn, um, excuse me, earn a CPR certification, search and rescue. They're going to learn the various technology pieces. And, and at the end of this course, if um, they have met all the eligibility requirements, they will be able to earn a firefighting certification. This course is taught um, and it's with partnership through Hanover Fire EMS. So it is actual firefighters that are teaching this course. There is a classroom here on campus at Hanover High School, but oftentimes this class meets at various fire training facilities um, around the area as well. It is, as you can tell um, by some of the pictures and what you currently know about firefighting, it is a physically demanding class um, as well as a emotionally demanding class just because of the nature of what these individuals are doing and going through. But it is a fantastic opportunity
for those that want firefighting in their future. So now we'll switch gears to the health science specialty center. This one is a little bit different. So in the future, I want to be a pediatric pharmacist in a hospital setting, and this program is really good to get already hands-on experience and general knowledge about what the pharmacy program is going to be like. I chose the medical program because I've always wanted to help people and be a doctor, and this will give me the best opportunity to have hands-on learning. So students become full-time students at Hanover High School. So they apply in the eighth grade, and they will take all of their courses, 9th through 12th grade, here at Hanover High School. Each of our pathway courses, which I'll explain more about, uh, do offer industry credentials available. There are not fees to get into the Health Science Specialty Center program. There are fees for some of the pathway classes beginning in the 11th grade. And depending on the number of applications that we do receive, uh, we have limited spots that are available. So if we exceed that, there will be a lottery drawing for those spots in the program. And again, uh, the program of studies is where you would find any prerequisites that are needed. I love teaching the nurse aid course because I know we are doing everything we can to make a positive impact on the future of the healthcare field. This four-year program is designed for students that are interested in the health sciences, obviously, whether they're um, looking at post-secondary options or pursuing careers in the health sciences or medical fields. Again, students that are accepted into this program do become full-time Hanover High School students. And what we do is we work with their schedules to try to maximize their exposure to the various fields. And then as they progress into their junior and senior year, they take more specific courses. The main reason that we love teaching the nurse aid and PCD, PCT courses is because of our students! <laughs> So students in our program are able to explore the health science fields in their both ninth and 10th grade years. And then as they enter their junior year, they are able to take the more, like I said, specific pathway courses that they, uh, they applied for, whether that be EMT, nurse aid, pharmacy technician, or sports medicine. This program has greatly impacted my post-graduation plans. Since I'm a senior, I'm applying to colleges, and being in this specialty center has set me apart from other candidates, I think. I've already gotten into nursing school, and I think a lot of that is can be attributed to going to the specialty center. So for the Health Science Specialty Center, what is it that makes a successful student? Well, first and foremost, they have to have an interest or a passion in the health sciences field. This is an opportunity for them to kind of figure out you know, specifically what is available um, and perhaps, you know, is it for me or not? Also, a successful student should be someone who is considering either employment in the health sciences field after high school or furthering their education in a post-secondary health science program. And definitely a successful student in the Health Science Specialty Center should be someone who is motivated and has a strong work ethic. So this program definitely helps impact my after high school career by putting me in a better spot to be accepted into prestigious medical programs in colleges. So a little bit about the student experience for students in the Health Science Specialty Center. Each of our programs is going to provide opportunities for certifications that the students are able to earn. Students are going to get the opportunity to have practical experience, and that would be both in some of our skills labs in the courses, but also through clinical hours where students are often going to be on site and kind of doing the job of those individuals. Also, uh, what's going to be preparing them for their post-secondary programs and employment is that being a part of this program and some of the course options that are only available to students in our program is going to increase their marketability in health careers. So regardless of whether they're applying for a job or a post-secondary school, what shows up here with their experiences that they're gonna earn is going to help them in a positive way. Um, again, students do become Hanover High School students for all of their classes and transportation for students that are not zoned for Hanover High School is provided, but that's provided via hub stops. I enjoyed teaching medical terminology in the health science specialty 
center because I believe it gives a good foundation for the pathway classes, such as sports medicine, pharmacy, nursing, and EMT. It allows students to get the basic foundations before they go on to the pathway classes. They highly enjoy it and they learn a lot before they move on. We have some of the specific course offerings. So first up, the required electives. So in ninth grade, every student in our program takes an introduction to health and medical sciences course. And then in 10th grade, every student in our program takes a medical terminology course. Throughout their four years, we'd also offer health science sections of some core content subjects. Um, for example, there's a health and science, health and PE9, there's a biology and chemistry, modern global studies, and an English 11 course. So those courses are infused in the curriculum with health science elements. What I really like about the EMT program is that it's very hands-on uh, education, and that's how I learn best. And so, you know, we're given many opportunities to prove uh, what we know, as well as studying in the classroom. When students apply for the Health Science Specialty Center in the eighth grade, they will select from one of the pathway courses that were mentioned earlier. These courses would begin in the 11th grade. So the first option is our Emergency Medical Technician Program, or EMT. This is currently a one-year program, and it meets all the requirements of the um, National Emergency Medical Services Education Standards. Students do need to be 16 years old on the first day of class in order to take this course. And throughout all of the coursework, students do have the opportunity to earn their EMT certification. They are going to get some hands-on practical field experience, whether that be uh, you know, ride-alongs in an ambulance to earn patient contact hours, whether that be um, perhaps in the ER of a hospital setting. This uh, course, again, does feed off of a partnership that we have with Hanover Fire EMS. So they are constantly um, able to bring out you know, ambulances and uh, et cetera to put on some demonstrations. I chose this program because I really wanted to help people and I wanted to make a difference. Obviously, I'm in nurse aid or PCT this year, but I really wanted help and I really wanted to make a difference and it's just such a great opportunity and it's so humbling to get to experience these things at such a young age. Another option for our students in our Health Science Specialty Center is our Nurse Aid Program. In simple terms, this course is going to prepare an individual to sit for a certified nursing assistant exam. So a student can technically leave our nurse aid program as a junior and be a CNA. For nurse aid and PCT, we do clinicals and we get to have patients and it's a really good eye opener and it's a really good experience. And it's just, it's a lot of fun and you learn so much. For students that complete our nurse aid course in the 11th grade, they do have the option of taking our patient care technician course as a senior. So the nurse aide is a prerequisite for this. But the patient care technician course, um, again, falls under the nursing category as well, but it's going to be some more uh, detailed and enhanced skill set that uh, the students are going to be working on. Things like EKGs, uh, minor wound care, they're going to work on phlebotomy, they're drawing blood, etc. Uh, the patient care technician is a separate certification that these students would be able to earn. So again, students um, that took nurse aid and this could actually leave high school with two nursing certifications kind of under their belt. What I like about pharmacy is the hands-on experience in the labs and finding out about the drugs being administered and the different kinds of prescriptions that there are. Our pharmacy technician program is another option for students in our health science specialty center. This is a two-year program. So students would take pharmacy technician one as a junior and then as a senior, they would continue on with pharmacy technician two. And so if student has any interest in being a pharmacist, this is definitely a stepping stone to that. Students do have the ability to earn a certification to be a pharmacy technician, uh, again, before they leave high school um, at the end of their senior year, which uh, lends itself very well to um, post-secondary programs, but also employment at that time. So what a pharmacy technician does is they essentially, they assist the pharmacist. They do deal with some customer service. 
Um, they deal with uh, insurance companies, kind of medicine dispensing, um, uh, the labeling on, on medications. They're going to be a part of all of that. We do have partnerships with some of the pharmacy chains. So during their senior year, uh, our students do earn clinical hours in those settings. So again, instead of being in the classroom during a portion of that senior year, they will be on site um, with you know, trained pharmacists. I initially chose sports medicine as my program to help myself uh, in the field. But as I learned on uh, or progressed throughout uh, the program, I uh, better helped or helped better my teammates with uh, use my skills to help my teammates uh, with uh, anything that they actually needed to uh, obtain my knowledge and give it to them. Our sports medicine program is also a two-year program. So again, sports medicine one uh, students would take as a junior and sports medicine two students would take as a senior. This does focus on the field, obviously, of sports medicine and athletic training. Now, this is more than what you would consider, you know, wrapping ankles, so to speak, for an injury. This course uh, goes into detail about kind of the injury prevention side of things. They deal with biometrics, exercise science, physiology, uh, that goes into nutrition. There's anatomy that's involved with this course. Students do learn first aid. They do uh, become CPR certified as well. It's designed for students that have an interest in um, perhaps physical therapy, uh, sports medicine. Now we can touch on a few of the most frequently asked questions that we have regarding the Health Science Specialty Center. One, since we do um, you know, provide opportunities for students from all over the county to attend Hanover High School to be a part of our Health Science Specialty Center, if you don't live in the Hanover High School District, how will you get to Hanover for these classes? There is um, our transportation department in Hanover County does provide transportation for this via what they refer to as hub stops. Now, it is important to remember that if you are not in the Hanover High School zone, these hub stops, that does not mean that it is door to door to your, to your home or dwelling to Hanover High School, but they come up with uh, various stops in the different localities. The high school that your student is zoned for will always be one of those hub stops, but there may be others that are closer to where you are and more convenient. Another question um, has to do with prerequisite courses that students must complete. Technically, there are none. Um, students that have taken anything in middle school are able to apply to our program. Uh, the one stipulation has to do with the math class. If they have already taken Algebra 1, that um, just has a direct path to which science they're going to be placed in in ninth grade. It does not put them behind in our program whatsoever. It's just we found more success. If a student has already had algebra, they're more successful in the health science biology course. So another of the most frequently asked questions has to do with what types of careers the program will prepare an individual for. So obviously the health sciences can be a vast field when you're looking at this. The specific courses with the EMT, the nurse aid, patient care tech, sports med, pharmacy technician. Obviously, if somebody has a strong interest in those specific courses, this is an ideal program for them to be in. But it does kind of stretch out a little bit. Um, if individuals want to go to medical school, we have students that will apply for some of the foundational knowledge that our program provides. But essentially, what the goal of the Health Science Specialty Center is, is to provide students with an opportunity to experience what Health Sciences is all about, open their eyes to some of the potential opportunities as a way for them to um, figure out, or first and foremost, is this something they want to pursue after, the, after high school? And if so, what might that path look like? Another question has to do with what college and university programs think about uh, a program such as our Health Science Specialty Center. When you're looking at post-secondary and you're looking at applying to schools, what schools are looking for are ways that students stand out. These courses that are a part of this program are only offered to students in our program. So the benefit of that is that students are going to have a Health Science Specialty Center 
course listing on their transcript when they're applying to school. So schools are going to see that. Um, that is something that's going to be unique for them. Um, uh, specifically uh, set them apart in a positive way in a health science field. So students in the Health Science Specialty Center are able to earn either a standard or advanced diploma, uh, the way that the courses are set up. Uh, it's just kind of the student and family's choice about which one of those they want to pursue. But all of the health science um, courses that are there do lead them to either of those two options. Students are able to take courses, um, advanced placement and IB courses as well as be in the health sciences program. There is um, one stipulation in order to be a full IB diploma candidate, um, it's going to be extremely difficult, if not impossible, to do that and simultaneously complete the health sciences curriculum as well. That just has to do with uh, you know scheduling conflicts and, and time. I am Ben Saunders, the coordinator for the Specialty Center at Hanover High School. I hope you have found some of this information informative and worthwhile. If you have any further questions or would like some more details uh, about our programs or courses, please do not hesitate to reach out to me directly.